Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel, the story behind the picture, and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of musician Diana Rain. I'm going to tell you how I went about getting this fabulous shot. Stay tuned. And welcome back. Now, how did I get this fabulous photograph of musician Diana Rain? Well, the first thing I did was I made a bunch of phone calls to see if I could get on the list of photographers to shoot at the theater. Now, once I did that, I went down to the theater and I scouted out the location to see whether I could find out some of the best views whilst the musicians were on stage. Now, if you can, see if you can introduce yourself to the lighting director to find out what sort of lighting they're going to be doing and also whether they can give you heads up on some of the best views that they would recommend for you anyway. Now, the other thing you need to do is to check in with security before the show to make sure that they know that it's okay for you to run around or move around the theater shooting pictures because you're not going to be sitting in your seat. So you need to do that. Now, if there are people taking photographs there, not just you, find out which of the professionals and make friends with them so that they can uh, acknowledge the fact that you want to take a shot and you can acknowledge they want to make a shot and you can stay out of each other's sort of line of sight when you're, you're going and shooting these photographs. Now you will find there's a lot of other people that are there shooting pictures. There are people sitting there with their camera phones or, or cameras or whatever they've got going on and uh, they're nobodies. So look out for the pros. Make sure you know who is really taking the photographs there for publication or for the theater or maybe even for the artist. Now the other thing you might want to try to do is to speak to the artist before the show or at least speak to her management so that they can acknowledge that you're there shooting professional photographs. Now the reason to do this is because they just might, and I'm talking about the artists that are on stage, the musicians, they might look your way when you're pointing your camera at them, in which case you'll get a really great shot. Now that happened to me and Duran Duran. Uh, when I met them, the guitarist came right up and looked down at my camera, which was really great. So I got some really good shots of him, and of course Simon Le Bon uh, is very respectful for photographers, so he always gives uh, you know great images to photographers that he sees in the pit. Remember that it is a small theater and there are people that are paid to see the artist they don't really want to look at the back of your head so make sure that you limit yourself to the moments that you get up and shoot a shot and then go down again so that you get out of the line of sight of the people who have paid for a ticket to see the performance so keep that in mind be polite when you go to the theater the equipment that you might want to take is usually a camera that can operate in really good low light. Now most cameras today are good at that so you know pretty much across the board any camera you take is going to take some really nice photographs. Now in my particular case I took a crop sensor camera with me and I also took a 50 millimeter lens. Now this is a, a, a Canon uh, STM 50 millimeter and on a crop sensor it acts like an 80 or an 85. So if you've got a full frame camera you can use an 85 millimeter and that's the kind of view that I really like when I'm shooting a, a performer on stage. Now I also take a wide angle with me so I can shoot the whole stage itself or even go closer up and get a full length shot and especially in a small theater and you're right there close to the performer you do need something that's a little wider if you want to try to get them from head to toe. So I took a, um, a 19 to a 28 and that gives me some great views that I want. Now the other thing is is that th the lighting is going to be part of the atmosphere so don't use the camera to color correct your images. Set up some kind of custom white balance so that you can control the lighting yourself. Don't let the camera try to color correct, otherwise it just make the pictures look as if you shot them in daylight. And the whole point of shooting somebody on stage is to create a certain amount of atmosphere. You want to see those purple lights like I have in my pictures here to give that kind of atmosphere or whatever color. So lots of times rock and roll stages are, are very blue, so keep that in mind. So don't let the camera do the color correction you correct the color or put in a custom white balance yourself before you start shooting. Now you will have to have the lens wide open to get as much light as you can into the camera to get the image and you will have to bump your ISO up uh, which is going to kind of give you a little bit more grain, a little bit of noise, but that's okay. It's rock and roll. Today, obviously, with cameras with a little screen on the back, you can look and check your exposure and you can adjust to have you want. Other thing that I want to tell you about and give you a tip on is shoot a very fast shutter speed. And the reason to do that is because the people on stage are moving around and you don't want them all blurry and everything, unless that's the kind of look you're going for. But in my particular case, 
increase the shutter speed so you can free some motion when someone's playing on stage. So that's important. Now, the other thing is don't just wait for the shot and click the shutter. By the time your eye sees it, your brain processes it and it gets all the way down to your finger and you click the button, they've moved. The shot's gone. So the best thing you can do is to fire off one, two, three, get a little burst of pictures and you're bound to catch that one shot that you see in your lens. So anyway, I hope all that stuff has been um, good for you to know and you can go out there in a small theater and shoot some great shots. If you liked all that stuff, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com. Check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there. Heads up on a lot of stuff that might help you get some great shots of your own. You can also follow me on Instagram. And if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please subscribe. Give me a comment and let me know what you think. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.